Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you all this because I'm sure some of y'all are probably pretty confused right now because I've been putting out a lot of videos here recently and I just was talking about how I wasn't wanting to do much chemistry lately or be in my lab at all because it was colder than a witch's tit in a brass bra here in uh, central Ohio winter in the middle of February. It is right now. Uh, but so uh, you guys weren't confused. I wanted to show you this. This is what I've been sitting on. It's just a normal heating pad like you use for sore muscles. I've had that plugged in on medium heat, and I've been sitting on it. Uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, so that you uh, weren't wondering what the hell I'm doing in my lab. And uh, I'm going to go now because I'm having to scream so you can hear me over my uh, vein pump. Hey, guys. As you can see, uh, my still head, I'm at 4.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, just now I'm still not collecting any distillate whatsoever and so I turned my hot plate temp up to 141 now and we're at 123 9 uh, so I'm kind of getting sick of babying it along so I, I did went ahead and pushed it up like 40 degrees C all at once so we're I bet we're gonna get something now so it's just a waiting game um, I'll be back when there's something to report All right, people, so I just bumped the temperature up again. I bumped it all the way up to 190 C, and you can see there I'm at 171, 172, 173 almost. There we go, we're still climbing now. Um, still, I haven't collected any droplets yet, so that's why I just bumped it up. I ha only had it at 160 C, uh, so uh, I'll be back once I have something to report. All right, guys, so I wanted to catch this quick. I'm at 43 just at about 44 degrees uh, Celsius right now in my still head and I just noticed I just started to actually collect distillate so I'm starting to collect some THF coming over now at uh, in vacuo um, unfortunately I'll show you guys here in just a minute what I'm talking about I don't have the proper uh, adapters for my vacuum chamber that I own uh, in order to run it in line uh, with the bubbler that I have and everything so that I can measure exactly uh, how many bars I'm at or how many millimeters of mercury I'm at here. Uh, however, um, you know, I can pull down to a full uh, 30 millimeters of mercury in my vacuum chamber using this pump. So uh, be that as it is, I can only assume that right now I am under absolute vacuum and under absolute vacuum then under that assumption that i'm under absolute vacuum you can see there that uh, between 44 and 45 degrees celsius you get uh, tetrahydrofuran coming over and collecting slowly um so uh i'm gonna go back to uh some editing here so i can try to get this video out to you guys as quick as possible and if there's any uh, new predicaments, I will be back. Oh, quick, before I go. So, yeah, so turning the plate up to 190C, that was the ticket uh, that got it going there. So um, I just left it there. didn't have to do anything else. Uh, all right, guys, I'll be back.
guys. As you can tell from the peace and quiet now, I have stopped the distillation. I have shut the vacuum off. Uh, you can see uh, we're down to 42. Um, so the fraction that I collected, I ran this for exactly half an hour. I collected all the way up to 53 degrees C. And the reason I shut it down was because I noticed there was an abrupt drop. It was already dropping down to 51 when I shut it down. So I uh, turned the hot plate off, turned the stirring off, uninsulated it. Then I uh, flipped the vacuum off. I'm letting it gradually come back up to atmospheric pressure. Um, but uh, let's uh, get to what we collected here. So here's what we collected. What you're looking at for scale is this is a 25 mil round bottom flask. And you see after half an hour, I've collected what, maybe five mils, I'd say. Um, I mean, this method, this is a pretty cool little trick to, that the amateur can pull to get tetrahydrofuran uh, because it is not the easiest thing for the amateur to obtain by any means. And it is by far the not the cheapest ether either. Uh, I think the last time I priced buying any THF online, it was on eBay. It was like, um, I think $60 for a gallon. So that would be, uh, what, $60 for, what is it, like 3.8 liters then? Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it's not easy to get. But uh, this is a way the amateurs can get tetrahydrofuran if they need it in a pinch. And I kind of feel bad here because I know I've seen this on YouTube before. My buddy, Backyard Science 2000, actually, um, he's uh, another fellow chemtuber here on YouTube. If you guys don't know his channel, you guys really need to check him out. He's Backyard Science 2000 on YouTube. Um, he's got a channel very similar to mine. He does uh, chemical syntheses, but this dude is, this guy is totally awesome. He is actually a chemical supplier. He's got uh, shops online, and this guy can get a lot of chemicals that amateurs typically can't get, and he usually always has them in stock. Uh, the guy's name is Tori. He goes by the handle Backyard Science 2000 on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. And you can find him. He's got his own Discord server at Backyard Science 2000 at Discord. Um, and he's also on Reactive Chem server on Discord. So you guys check him out and uh, keep him in mind if you guys need chemicals, especially if you are in the uh, northern United States or just northern America, period. Because I know he can ship to Canada. So uh, I'm calling it a night, guys. I'm going to go inside, get this video done and editing, get it produced, uploaded to you guys. And I have to open my store in the morning tomorrow. So I'm calling it a night, guys. So until the next one, y'all, peace.